All right, on the bench, text and specs. Let's see what it can do. Now, I wasn't sure why my friend sent me this. Just told me I had to try it. So I said, well, if you're sending it, I'll try it. So here we go. It's a pincer shaped guards on it. Uh, headless mode, 6 axis gyro, altitude hold, and it does 360 flips and rolls. So it does both rolls and forward and reverse flips. Now the box doesn't have a whole lot of awesome graphics on it, just uh, it's a very informative box. So tells you what comes with it, what you need. This is the dual battery mode, or version I should say, not mode that was sent to me. I have already cracked it open, but a lot of you like to see what it comes with and how it looks out of the box. And what you get with it. Now I got a lot of different drones and manuals on my desk here, so these are the three that come with it. Those two are not applicable, this one is. It is in English, which is what I'm trying to speak. It goes through the things that you should have in the box. If they're not in the box, then you need to contact the seller. Optional accessories and replaceable parts. Different functions, the pre flight preparation, and so on and so forth. And then your controls, uh, because there's a lot of buttons on this thing. And uh, they don't double them up, they get each function a button basically. So I'll let you go through that in your leisure. You can find a PDF online. Basic battery installation, three AAA batteries. And your standard on-off switch, the arming and disarming. The calibrating the gyro. It does have headless mode. It does have altitude hold. And I've already taken this thing out, put the batteries on the charger. I did test flight with the one battery. And I got exactly 7 minutes and 30 second flight time. Now, continuing on the uh, boring stuff like the manual and parts and stuff, the USB charger. Don't use a laptop. Use an actual power supply. This is the second battery. It's a two, uh, 330 milliamp, 3.7 volt. The first one is exactly the same. So you get a full set of blades and a little screwdriver for disassembly if you need to. Now, the drone itself. Your controller on off is down here. Turn it on, armed it forward, up and down, just like 99% of the drones out there is how it's armed. And then just a set of gyro. Now it does have the high low speed, it has three speeds. And the one thing I love about this and makes it my favorite little nano drone is the incredible speed and responsiveness of this drone. Your flip mode, hold the stick, or hold the button, and then choose the direction that you want the flip to happen. Your trimming, forward, back, left, or right, and your yaw, so on and so forth. Your one button, push this down, it arms, spins the motors up for five seconds. If you don't do anything after that, it winds them back down again. Also, one button take off as well. So, onto the drone. This is probably the most fantastic feeling drone in this size and category that I've had, that I've come across. It feels like it was expensive to make. It's very good plastic. The only thing that's got any flex at all is the very tip of this. So if you're flying outside in a very calm day, just be careful. These things will hook and you'll end up hanging on a branch. Now it has a on off button here. That is the front. So when this thing is coming at you, you know what direction it is. That is the reverse. This is also how it looks and acts when the battery is dying. And it gives you the warning. Get it on the ground. You don't have a lot of time. Now it has rubber bumpers on the motor legs to help protect it and the battery tray which I don't really like is a hingeable unit 
there's a second battery. That's all there is to it. So that's basically going over it. You have the on-off switch, like I say. Uh, a mock camera at the front here, which is actually just that incredibly bright LED light. So it's very easy to distinguish which direction it's going. So anyway, that's it on the bench. Now I think we should uh, put a battery in this and see what it can do. Or show you what it can do. Stay tuned. In mode one, that's the yaw in mode two, yaw in mode three. This little thing is just super nimble, super quick, and that's looking at you. That is just a wicked break. It has so much power. I uh, put it back in mode one or speed one because this is just too small an area for level three. In a wide funnel, nice and stable over the table. This has got to be my favorite little pocket drone. This thing is just so responsive, it's crazy. Like I say, this is an electric level one, or mode one. I don't know how much those, all those lights on there kill this thing, but you definitely know when that thing's coming back after with that light on. I'll go level two, mode two, speed two. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. It's just way too quick for this tiny little area.
This thing is just a rocket ship. Now we'll stop. Okay. Calm it down. Bring it down to level three again, or one, I should say. Send it back after smacking the wall there. Look how nice and stable that little guy is. Air pressure sensor pops it back up. This little JJRC drone, the Hellfire, that is one. Order one, get one. It is just a blast. So we got flashing. All right, let's bring it in for a landing. One touch, touch and stick for your rolls forward. It does rolls and flips front and back as well. Your dual rate, your trim levels, your takeoff, uh, arming your motor, arming your motors, takeoff and landing as well. Trim, standard stick control. What a great little machine. All right. Stage three. Forward and reverse funnel. That's the yaw rate. Very impressive. This thing is a bullet though. 